Hello friends, welcome to another session of e-learning in Pentium and today we will be covering one of the important topics that is areas of research in Pentium. Before we continue into the topic, let us first walk through what is research. The research term in itself comprises of re and search, re meaning to do again and again and search meaning to find something. It can be defined as the systematic collection, description, analysis and interpretation of data to answer a certain question or to solve a problem. As WHO defines, research is a quest for knowledge through different search or investigation or experimentation aimed at the discovery and interpretation of new knowledge. And scientific method is a systematic body of procedures and techniques applied in carrying out investigation or experimentation targeted at obtaining new knowledge. The process of research changes information into knowledge and it is the cornerstone of informed and effective decision making. While there are various types and classification of research available, there is only one type of research that is good research. A bad research does not deserve a name of research. A badly done research is not only a waste of time, money and effort, but it can be considered unethical if it exposes research subjects to the inherent risks of experimentation with no reward to them, to others or the communities. The next question which comes to mind is, why do we need to do research? A research is needed to find answers to the questions that we face. To seek solutions to the various problems which arise in different areas of health and to improve the design of functioning inside a health setup. According to ICMR, there are different dimensions of research which can be theoretical and applied, preventive and therapeutic, bench-based and bedside exploratory and confirmatory, implementational and confirmational. Theoretical research means going through the theory and literature available and coming to some conclusions and if any evidence arises, then we go for the applied aspect of that research. Preventive is to prevent any kind of disease as in vaccination or various other preventive methods for health research and therapeutic arises from those preventive steps and helps in cure or achieving the cure of a disease. Similarly, exploratory research is where in the sense we don't know much about the research or the outcome in the beginning but various methods are applied and it is tried to figure out if we can get some clues to for further research. Sometimes it can be confirmatory where the clues have been obtained by people and then they are confirmed by other scientists. While designing a research, it should be kept in mind that the research should be feasible, should be interesting, novel, ethical and relevant. That is, if we are performing a research, the outcome should be feasible. Such a research should not be undertaken which is not feasible to be performed due to various reasons. It should be interesting for the mankind or the science itself. It should be novel, should not be repetitive and no research which has already been done should be taken unless it can give something of a confirmatory nature or give something new evidence to the science. It should be ethical and relevant to the scenario. 
health research can be divided into descriptive and an analytical type of researches further descriptive researches can be divided into two types that is individuals that is which are done on individual persons and ecological studies which can be done on mass populations similarly analytical studies can be divided into two that is observational and interventional why we need to know about the types is because amongst these type we will be able to understand what are the different areas of research that can be covered in panchkarm the individual study types include case reports case series cross section surveys and ecological studies the analytical include case control studies cohort studies and clinical trials coming to what are the areas of research especially in panchkarm we can see there can be case reports wherein we can give detailed presentation of a single case in which we can give results of our particular therapies in that type of case for example you treat a patient successfully maybe of sheet pit with woman the trouble is that this case has gone unreported because this therapy is being practiced for a long time but there is no scientific data which has been presented for the wider scientific audience therefore there can be case reports then there can be case series which are study of a larger group of patients maybe greater than 10 of having the same disease and being given the same treatment and the results are given to the scientific community for better acceptance and analysis then there can be various cross sectional surveys for example for observation of different therapies like how they are being performed in one section or one part of the country and how they are being performed in the other part of the country then there can be knowledge aptitude and practice studies wherein we seek the literary or literature behind the therapies from the different sanhitas and then we assess whether the same text or same knowledge is being practiced in the vedic community or the ayurveda community then there can be ecological studies which are done on group as a unit of analysis for example is practice of a particular therapy in one region different than the other region and the reasons behind it we can also explore literary studies as an area of research in panchkarm wherein we can take up review or research of sanhitas for hints and answers for example one study can be taken up in which a particular disease can be studied from various texts and all the therapies which can be performed in various conditions in that particular disease can be enlisted or we can take up a therapy which has been contraindicated in a particular disease but in its some special condition that therapy is to be performed similarly we can take up various clinical trials which can be preventive in nature for example in prevention of a particular disease or condition they can be promotive in nature that is promoting health or they can be curative in nature similarly various prospective and retrospective studies can be taken up wherein the data from opd and ipd can be researched to come to some conclusion about which 
मेडिसिन और थेरेपीज कैन बी परफॉर्म्ड एंड गिव बेटर रिजल्ट इन पर्टिकुलर डिजीजेस टूवर्ड्स दी एंड इट इज सेफ टू से दैट द एरियाज ऑफ रिसर्च इन आयुर्वेद एंड स्पेशली पंचकर्म आर नॉट लिमिटेड बट आर वास्ट एंड इट इज ऑल अबाउट asking yourself what and why with this we conclude today's session thank you